So what's going on guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. You are not seeing things, I am back and ready to grind like never before. I have a pretty interesting video against a top 100 player for you guys today. You know, it's one of the most insane matches I've ever been a part of. But before we get into that guys, I would like to take the time to thank you all for all of your messages and a lot of support that I've received over the past week. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my father did die uh, last Sunday, but uh, we're recovering and you guys made it so much easier than it could have been, so I owe you all so much. And you have my word that I am going to put maximum effort into YouTube to produce the best content for all of you guys and to push the growth of this channel so we can do amazing things. Anyways guys, like I said, today we have a video against a top 100 player by the name of Lost in the Waves and this match was so good that it was even featured on the champions channel on the front page if you guys are feeling generous before we get into this match i would appreciate it if you could drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one and also turn on those notifications so you are notified when a video is posted this is the team that we used in this game it switches to a 4-2-3-1 narrow in game with bale at left cam neymar at right cam bergkamp at central cam and ronaldo at striker with Petit and Vieira being the two CDMs. Even after the patch, I feel like the 4-2-3-1 is a very strong formation. Some of you guys may agree, but uh, I am still finding my way around this new patch because I haven't actually played that much of it because of obviously what's happened. And uh, on top of that, my account was actually banned, meaning I couldn't play this weekend league that's just passed. Um, I believe it was for something like harassment and bullying in the messaging app when in reality I just told a kid to F off and unsubscribe from my YouTube channel because what he did in game was uh, he got this really lucky goal First he dabbed and literally passed it around the back for about 90 minutes and it wasn't just like simple predictable passing it was literally just l crossed uh, it's just really annoying you guys will know what I mean he was clearly trying to wind me up uh, so I did get banned for that but uh, I've served my time as you could say. Hopefully you guys do understand that I was bound to get very wound up and annoyed very easily that weekend in particular. Obviously I'm not normally like it, but uh, that's irrelevant as we do enter this game and look at that team, goodness me, team of the year Ramos, team of the year Marcelo, prime Rio, 90 Hullet, 88 Vieira, prime Rui, uh, Ronaldo Suarez, I think it was Messi, I can't remember, and David De Gea. I recognize the name instantly, I see this guy in the top 100 very consistently, meaning when I matched up against him I went super try hard mode. If you're wondering what instructions I was using, it was something like stay forward on the wide attacking midfielders, uh, stay forward and free roam on the central cam, uh, stay back while attacking and cut passing lanes on Vieira and uh, I left Petit alone and obviously I told Ronaldo to get in behind and press back line and the left back and right back was just told to stay back while attacking. In terms of starts to a game, I believe this might have been the worst start to a foot champions game I have ever had. Just an absolute shambles of a defense on my behalf. I just let him run right through me with Marcelo there. A clear pass into the middle to Ronaldo, quick ball roll and the finesse shot into the bottom right corner, putting him 1-0 up inside three minutes. Brilliant. The moment that goal went in, I was just literally thinking to myself, oh boy, here we go again. We're about to get slapped. No more elite one, blah, blah, blah. The typical stuff which goes through your mind the moment you concede a goal. Uh, a goal on FIFA can literally change the most calm and relaxed man into Satan himself. Anyways, if you thought that goal from kickoff wasn't bad enough, just watch what I do with this free kick. I completely mess it up. I try and go for one of these overlap ones. What was that? Seriously, what was I thinking? And uh, I think I end up getting counter-attacked here or something. And I was just like, oh gosh, I I've screwed up the game already. And uh, yeah, it just wasn't good. Like he nearly scored again right here, but we did get a last second tackle. 
I think we actually put together a really nice piece of play here. Uh, for the first time in this game, it was quite calm and relaxed, and I was just working my way up the pitch, you know, doing my own thing, you know, taking a bit longer on the ball, drawing out his players, and we nearly got a goal back there with Ronaldo, but obviously Team of the Year Ramos is an absolute boulder of a man. From the corner, we didn't exactly make the most of it, but uh, we did apply quite a bit of pressure here with Vieira, meaning we got another chance. Uh, lucky deflection here, and uh, some nice calm and composed dribbling, but uh, the last touch was screwed up again and Ramos got that tackle in time and you can see from the gameplay that it was actually quite a decent spell from us and unlike most YouTubers I don't like to cut out all of the you know interplay in games I like to show you guys the back to forth like back and forth uh, you know game that uh, most people don't show and it just gives you guys, you know, a bit more knowledge about how the game was played out, you know, how it was, who dominated, uh, just so you guys can have a bit more of a perspective on it. But uh, you can see here, like, we weren't actually playing that bad at all at the start, but uh, we were just, you know, lacking that cutting edge, lacking the final shot, as you could say, and, uh, you know, it was obvious we had quite a bit of an issue from counter-attacks, um... I don't know, I'm just very poor at defending them. And he gets a ball through here, a couple of ball rolls. Destroyed me with Ronaldo, you know. Gets the ball in off the post and makes it 2-0. Uh, very unfortunate to actually concede that. As good as the goal was, you know, the, the bounce from the post wasn't in our favour, unfortunately. And it meant that I had to try even harder to actually get myself back in the game. And credit to myself where credit is due. We do exactly just that by playing in Dennis Bergkamp down the wing here and actually drawing a penalty. I'm not the greatest at penalties, but uh, these one bar penalties seem to be absolutely broken. No one can seem to stop them. And uh, we were very fortunate to actually score that. And just as we were getting back into the game, me being me, I had to screw it up from kickoff yet again giving away a little foul there, and you know what's coming. These free kicks are just unstoppable when they uh, set them up right. Um, he runs over the ball with two players, passes it, and I just could not stop it. I just cannot stop them to save my life. I know exactly what's coming every time. I just cannot stop it. But I bet you guys won't believe what's just about to happen. A massive error from my opponent there. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, he must have offside trapped too much and we just get a goal back right from kickoff. We didn't even have to do anything. We just cancelled out the goal he scored a couple of minutes prior. A few minutes later, my opponent did get a corner and he pings it to Ronaldo here. Nice drag back to send Bonucci away and then he finishes it to make it 4-2. Frustrating to concede the goal, but uh, it was a very good one. I was getting a bit annoyed at this point because every time I felt like I was clawing back, I was getting pushed away again. <laughs> However, it didn't stop me from trying and you can see that we just constantly keep trying to attack him, even though it's proven to be quite an effective uh, a lot of the time but we do apply quite a bit of pressure in the defense there winning the ball back and uh, getting another attack going and uh, we get a bit lucky there but we take our time on the ball playing Burkamp, low driven across goal making it 4-3 uh, meaning we only have to score one goal to catch him yet again. And you guys can probably tell just from this half how good this game was. But we weren't even done there. He kicks off again and uh, tries to attack me. We do intercept it this time. Uh, obviously, I was looking for another quick goal so we could hit him with the misery compiler. But uh, that wasn't the case. And he does play a nice ball up to Ronaldo here. And he will get one more chance before half time. We do screw up with the pass out there. And he gets the ball with Ronaldo and scores again. I don't know what happened with the footage there. It seemed to miss out quite a few frames. So I apologize for that. But we do charge down the wing one more time with Neymar just before half time, looking for another goal back. But De Gea saves it. And that was how the first half ended. And you can see here from the halftime stats, we were actually the dominant team, and I felt a bit unlucky to be losing. The start to the second half wasn't too interesting. For like the first 20, 25 minutes, you can just see it's like back to forth ping pong type 
play where no one can seem to get the final shot away and you know it was really annoying me at this point but we do eventually get to a point with Neymar uh, where he hits it across goal and it gets deflected into Gareth Bale so we can make it 5-4. After that goal, I did pause it to make some changes. I brought on Wilson for Bergkamp, Werner for Neymar, and Alessandrini for Bale. I didn't want to switch formation too early. I left it like another 10 minutes. But uh, he did just start passing it around the back and really annoying me. So I really did need to up the pressure for the final few minutes. So I switched to a 3-4-2-1, uh, sorry. Uh, got basically most of the players to stay forward and get in behind and press the back line. Uh, I upped my pressure quite a lot. And uh, yeah, we had to try and get a goal back. We did have a corner at the moment I paused it. And I decided to play it short to Alessandrini because I really didn't want to waste this last chance. And uh, I was just waiting around on the edge of the box looking for an opening. We do a nice scoop turn with Alessandrini, deflects to Petit and we make it 5-5 in the 89th minute. Uh, I was unbelievably happy at this point. Uh, sense of relief, I suppose. I switch back to the 4-2-3-1, looking to see out the game. And I really want you guys to pay attention to what happens here. This is complete AIDS, should not happen uh, at all. Just look at Petit here when uh, he gets the ball. Um, we win it back with Viet no, sorry, Valencia. We pass the ball to Petit, and look at this. What is he doing there? Just completely loses control of the ball, gives my opponent a chance. I knew exactly what was coming the moment Petit did that, and he makes it 6-5 in the 90th minute, doing a stupid dab as well, which was very, very annoying. Um, felt very hard done by in this game, especially since I had so many shots on target, stuff like that. But uh, it is what it is. We lost the game. You can see there, more chances, more on target, but whatever. <laughs> I'd just like to quickly say how good this opponent was. Top quality opponent. Very fun game to play, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just a bit frustrating the way we lost, but we lost anyway. But uh, that just about does it for the video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you could drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And also turn on those notifications so you are notified when a video goes live. And uh, yeah, with all that being said, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you all later. Peace.